After you've created your notebook using the Class Notebook app in your Office 365 account and you've launched your notebook into the full desktop version, your notebook will look similar to the one that you see on my screen right now. Every Class Notebook is set up in a specific way and you're going to see on your screen there are three main areas of your Class Notebook. There is the collaboration space and this is the area where both teachers and students can edit the content in this section. So if we click on it you'll get a little introductory area over here that tells you about how this space is used. Keep in mind, anything that you put in here, the students can move or erase. Um, this can be an area that students can use to collaborate on work where they both need a common area to work, but there is that potential for work to be erased. We click back on this green arrow, which is what allows us to navigate throughout our class notebook, and we click on the content library, this is where you're going to be able to put any content, any digital files that you would normally hand out in a paper copy, you can insert into the content library. It's basically like student share. It's a digital filing cabinet where you can insert digitalized documents and students have the access to pull it over into their own notebook and annotate on it. Students cannot write on anything in the content library. It is protected. All they can do is view it until they make a copy and put it in their own notebook. So the way that you build up your content library is first you have to think about how you want to structureize it. So you can see over here, you might want to do it by the different topics that you cover in your class. You might want it to be more generic where you have a classwork, homework type of situation. You might want to be do it unit by unit. You can decide however you want to structure it. You just want to make sure it makes sense to your students so that they're going to be able to find the content. So what you're going to do is, in order to create a new section, these are tab sections in the content library, you always want to make sure that you're in the appropriate place before you start inserting content. So I'm in this technology notebook and I'm in the content library, and if I needed to create a section, let's say there was another unit I wanted to cover, this little plus sign over here will create a new section. And then I can just begin typing and then hit the enter key and now I have another unit. So you can see right now I'm in unit 3, this is the unit 3 section, and these over here would be the pages associated with unit 3. So these are like the individual sheets of loose leaf paper you would have in that tab section of a physical binder. I've already prepared one, so I have my Office 365 section, and you can see over here on the right hand side these are all the documents associated with Office 365 that I want my students to have access to, and I can click on each one. So let's say, for instance, I wanted to insert another document. What I can do is go to the section where I want to insert my document. Let's say I have some content on OneNote that I want my students to have. I want to make sure that I create a blank page. You don't want to insert something on a page that already has content on it. So I will click Add a Page. And then I'm going to come up to the Insert menu. And you're going to choose File Printout. Once we go to File Printout, you're going to navigate to wherever you have your saved files, whether your L Drive, Student Share, Teacher Share, or your OneDrive folder. And then you're going to look for the folder where you have your content. And it can be a PDF, it can be a Word document, it can be a PowerPoint, it really can be anything. So let's say I want to put this one in. I click Insert. And basically what it does is it takes a screenshot of your document and it inserts it right onto your page. Now this is not an editable page for the students. The students actually couldn't change the text here. It's almost like a layer. So they can write on top of it or they can double click and they'll be able to type on top of it. But again, we are in the content library right now so the students can't do anything with anything that we put in the content library until they move it into their own notebook. So again, if you want to insert something else that has to do with OneNote or whatever your unit is, you're going to make sure you add a blank page and you will go to insert file printout and that's basically how you start to build the content of your content library do you always have to insert something no you could actually type your content directly on here and you could put a title up here and you could actually build whatever it is you want the students to access directly on the screen if it's not something that you have digital and you're creating from scratch. So in the next videos, I'm going to show you how the students now can access the work and bring it over into their own notebook so that they can annotate on it.